So what's been a pretty diabolical run of events in terms of um, just trying to get things sorted. I um, lost a few days now because of the abysmal weather and it's just a case of hanging in there and just just trying to get to Wanganui in Panson North as quick as possible and try and gain some time that I've lost. So I'm about to start day 58. I think it's 58, so I lost count with all those days lost. Yes, it is 58. And today I'm walking from Pipariki to somewhere towards Wanganui. Don't know where. I'll be walking on my own probably. And um, well, there's a group of lads from various countries who are heading that way too. I might hang on to for a little while. And we'll just see how things pan out. So starting day 58 soon. I'm actually just not got my pack yet. I'm just popping down here to make sure I've not left anything at the shelter where we sheltered. Um, but it really poured me through. Right. incredibly calm today in comparison. I guess it's moving quite fast. Um, yeah, beautiful though. Hooked up with um, a group of three guys from New Zealand, Germany and Scotland. So, not walking on my own just yet, but that'll probably happen later in the day. It's a fairly sizable slip. Little warning signs just appeared. <coughs> Warning of steps ahead, certainly not wrong. Great view of the river this morning. Look at the blue sky. How how much of a kick in the teeth is that? Lovely view here. Jerusalem. It's a small little settlement. It used to be a convent here. I don't think it's occupied at the moment, but I guess I'll soon find out. There's accommodation here which a lot of people rave about, um, but obviously it's just too short after Pippaliki for me to stay here tonight, but um, let's have a look around. And this is um, quite a historical little church, I think. This is where there used to be an old convent. Not sure if the church is still active. I think accommodation is still active. It's all in the middle of nowhere. In a little place. As I leave um, Jerusalem behind, the little church there we can see. Had some walking companions there for a little while. I've decided to move on because I've so we've got a potentially big day today. Um, probably need to make the most of it and just see if I can get to Rivertown Lodge which is it'll be a 46k day which would be big there is a camping area at 36ish um, but I'm keen to make ground today just to make up for lost time um, it's going to be a long day but it is a nice day for a change make the most of it London interesting A little bit less populated than the, um, the more familiar London by the look of things. That was so cool. I hit this little gong. It says hit gong for service, hit this little gong, this little fella appears. <laughs> he's, he's gone off to get me a, a coke, which is pretty cool. And he's going to fill my water bottle as well, which is also cool. About 30 k's to go yet today, it's getting quite warm. So I better keep stocked up on the, on the fluids. That's a mean. Good. You get a good day. Yeah, you too. Day. See ya. Two dollars a scoop. 
Your ice cream dream got answered by the universe. That's good practice. And we bought 1300 clock. Ah, I didn't. You guessed it. to really be quiet to allow that sheep back onto the road and um, it's kept careering down the road and the more I walk the more I push him further away from where he should be so um he managed to um, managed to hide from him and then he rushed back past me to his mates which was good and um the shop there with the little fella that marks the um pretty much the 1300 mark from Cape Grianga it's actually quite nice that the, the three other guys caught me up at that point um, gave each other fist bumps, which is good. And um, yeah, I suppose I could say that the last 100 k's really have dragged. And that's purely and simply because of the volume of um, zero days there's been in the last week, week and a half with the torrential downpours. But today's looking good. Tomorrow's forecast is reasonable. So let's just put it behind us and march on. First day walking for a while actually, I've noticed my left leg stiffening up a little bit today, so just got to remember to keep, keep stretching it. Just a two minute detour to have a look at this little mill, an historic place. No camping allowed, wow, wow, I'm not surprised. Um, the gentleman at the top just um, pointed me down this very small slope, I recommended I have a look. And it's nicely shaded as well, which is an advantage too. Pretty cool. And this is um, what the mill used to look like. I think it was 1950s as I see it was established. It's been gifted, he was saying, the gentleman at the top to the to the river, the people of the river. Very good. Matahiwi. There's accommodation here. Definitely too early for me to stop. Someone did recommend this place, huh? Lots of tiny little settlements keep popping up. Um, many farming communities, really. I've heard of them, of course. It's really great coming by the road. A lot of TI hikers um, really detest the road walking. I actually quite enjoy it. Especially on a day like today. It has been a little bit warm, but just really enjoyed hiking on my own and it was good to walk with the other guys earlier um, but they're not coming as far so I just had to make a bit of a move on so I've got about 16 k's to go it's about 2.30, 2.40 so I don't know half five, six o'clock in the campground we'll see Saw this on the map previously. Not really sure what this is all about actually. I mean, it's just an alternative little footpath. No idea. Let's we'll find out. I think it's an alternative little walk. And I might just take it. really enjoyed today walking by the side of the river beautiful scenery all around walked on my own most of the time um, here's the first camping area that I could potentially stop at it's basically it's um, 8 k's to the 
the next camping area that I was thinking about and it's not four o'clock yet it's about five to four <laughs> you know I should definitely be at the other one for about half five and it saves me having to do that hour and a half tomorrow so I might just stop here for a snack I'm actually getting a bit hungry I've just hammered it for the last three and a half hours and I'll um, have a little snack here for ten minutes and then move on Nobody here as yet. I think the other three guys behind me I think are staying here though. There's a red roof building there. That's um, I think that's Down's hat. Which is in front of the conservation. It's the other side of the um, river for the Can't get there. That's where some of the kayakers go. Uh, there's Jacques. I really hate passing by little opportunities like this. Sounds amazing. But the thought of a skyline track after 40 kilometres of walking <laughs> isn't appealing as much as it probably would do with me. So I'm just going to carry on. This European city name a lake of fast today. I think I had it bad this week. Look at that sign. The river came up to here in 1990. Wow. That is seriously flooded. It's just over there. That must have been amazing. Just after half five, this is where I'm going to try and get accommodation tonight. So that was day 58, and actually it was the biggest day I've done on Tierra Roa so far. I've just done, done um, 46 k's from Pipiriki to Rivertime Lodge. Um, did turn up and found out that there's no problem getting a, a tent site because I'm all on my own. I'm the only person here. I think that's only happened twice now on Tierra Roa. There are a couple of cabins here, and there's a family who are um, just travelling around who are using the two cabins. And I was more than happy to tent anyway, so that was all good. Um, they had a good chat to them actually. Um, Mum and Dad and a son who's working in Canada has brought his girlfriend home, and the father's from Liverpool, very close to where I hail from, and um, nice people. And um, yeah, that was day 58. It's nearly 10 past 8, and I'm actually going to bed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, very tired. Um, very good day, but um, time to rest up and hit what I'm going to do tomorrow and possibly go a little bit further than what I'm doing as well. Um, one slight problem is I've heard there's a, a problem with a river crossing just south of. Wanganui because of all the rain and flooding we've had um, and that's put in jeopardy a river crossing which we're supposed to be doing um, the day after or I'm supposed to be doing the day after so I might have to recalculate plans to get to Bulls and go a different way and that was day 58. Even when it's not forecast, the rain still persists. <laughs> 